To me, food is like the purest form of art. It's not just on a canvas. It's an edible canvas. It's smell, it's sight, it's you can even hear it, we can touch it. It's constantly changing. It's constantly exciting. It just sort of translates into your food in a way that you never thought it could before. Most galleries would tell you the best way to view their artwork is from behind a velvet rope. Ruta Laukin would say it's with a cocktail in your hand, which is why she created Liquid Art House in Boston's Back Bay. I really started with my love for the art, so I wanted to bring it into an approachable environment, everyday environment, to drinking, eating, looking at the art. Instead of me being sterile, that's something that you stare at on the wall. When you first walk into this gallery eatery hybrid, you may need a moment to catch your breath. With 25-foot ceilings, a massive glass-blown chandelier, and exhibits on either side, it's truly a feast for the eyes. And for the right price, anything could be yours, from a funky throw pillow to a painting fit for a feature wall. But unlike most working galleries, Liquid Art House is all about fun and hospitality. Just ask executive chef Rachel Klein. It's pretty intense the first time you walk in, but we are a Liquid Art House. We do consider it a home. We don't want to come across as like a pretentious art space. I just want people to like the space and love the food, and that's it. It's hard not to love this trendy space, and as for the food, it's practically a guarantee. From the flavors to the presentation, each dish served by Chef Rachel and Chef de Cuisine Stacy Cogswell is nothing short of a masterpiece. For comfortable, shareable eats, the menu offers a house-made German pretzel perfect for dipping with tangy mustard butter and bright scallion pancakes stuffed with duck confit, radish, and cilantro. They're bright green. But you want everything green once the weather turns nice. It's like a nice little crunch, warm, cold, all these things going on. It's really delicious. But the true star of the bar menu is the LAH Burger, which boasts an all-beef patty topped with Comte cheese, pickles, onions, and tomato confit served on a house-made milk bun. It's definitely a burger on steroids. And it's one of those type of burgers where you take a bite and you just kind of melt into wherever you are, and you're like, oh, so good. And I think our fries are some of the best fries in the city, and I'll say that. If you want a meal that's a bit more manicured, head into the dining room where the plates are so pretty, you almost feel bad eating them. There's Berkshire pork over English peas, pickled honeydew, king trumpet mushrooms, and fresh mint, and local scallops alongside parsnip puree, grapefruit, and chamomile sauce. The scallop dish I would describe as very unctuous and elegant. The scallops are super fresh in their briny sea sweet. Then we have little finger lime, so they're those little pearls, so they almost look like pink caviar for texture and crunch, and then they pop in your mouth. People love that dish a lot. But for a taste that's a little more homey, order from the dumpling section, inspired by Ruta's childhood in Lithuania. I grew up on it. My grandmother made it, my mom made it, and uh, Rachel took the traditional recipe and then made it a little bit more modern and less rustic. These dumplings are far from Peking ravioli. They're more like gnocchi, with a melt-in-your-mouth texture and irresistible flavor, like decadent cheese dumplings served with mushrooms and porcini cream, and beautiful beet and caviar dumplings finished with sour cream and dill. We roast beets, puree beets, and then dehydrate the beets, so it's quite a process, but the flavor and color that you get in these beets is so impressive. As for desserts, nothing pairs with a post-dinner cocktail like the ultra-artistic Bird's Nest, featuring apricots, stout beer, and parsnip ice cream atop a bed of crunchy Greek pastry. But if a cup of coffee is more your speed, order a plate of mini donuts drizzled with chocolate mocha sauce and served alongside a scoop of white coffee ice cream. Our coffee ice cream, I can tell you now, is amazing. The flavor, it's super bright and really rich, clean coffee flavor, and that's one of our classic desserts. But not everything here at Liquid Art House is a classic. Actually, this place is all about change. And when the artwork changes, so does the food. The one thing that remains constant, however, is the restaurant's founding philosophy. I've always believed that you have to follow your passion. And I sat down and tried to think what I'm passionate about. And it was art, food, wine, and travel. And I said, how do I put it all into one? And here we are, it's Liquid Art House. Mm -hmm.